he would soon come to know what was a good response and what was a bad response by the fact that he would get longer notes on certain responses and no reply on others. Over the next few years, Phil got very good at responding in Chinese. However, he still had no understanding of what he was actually saying. Let's flip across the corridor to Sue. Sue was starting to fall in love with Phil. He was telling her how beautiful she was. He can't wait to meet her on the outside. He is a multi-millionaire and he's going to take her on all these trips and give her the life of her dreams. She really couldn't wait to meet Phil. As the experiment ended and the door opened, we need to ask the question, does Sue look at Phil any differently? Now she understands that Phil has no understanding of Chinese. Is Phil intelligent? He does not understand Chinese. If I opened up a computer, if I showed you the coding that went into some of these AI machines, would you understand that they are only pattern recognizing and kicking you out a good response through trial and error? This has happened multiple, multiple times. And the computer, or Phil, has got very, very good at interpreting what you're saying and pushing out a good response. The computer does not understand what you are saying. However, to counter this, would we say Phil is not intelligent? Well, I call Phil quite intelligent. He was able to recognize the pattern from the construct he was in. He had no way of learning Chinese or recoding himself. So he done the best with the tools he had available. He was able to pattern recognize and through trial and error was able to love struck. So to me, that's a really strong form of intelligence and understanding what task is at hand with the tools we have available. Going back to AI, we need to think humans did not go from non-intelligent to this full consciousness in the flick of a switch. With this AI, is it just stepping stones? Or are we digging too much into the fact? The key part of this story is the word understanding. 